we look at a couple of theorems for matchings in graphs that are not necessarily bipartite. The first one is Tut's matching theorem. It states the following. G has a perfect matching, if and only if, for every subset of nodes S, the number of odd components in G drop S is at most the cardinality of S. So G drop S is the graph obtained from G by removing all the nodes in S and all the edges incident to a node in S. So one direction of this theorem says, if the graph has no perfect matching, then there is a set S such that its cardinality is less than the number of odd components in G drop S. So the question is, how do you find such an S? And we'll address this question in a separate video. Here, we'll look at the forward direction. So we assume that G has a perfect matching. Now let's take a set S and suppose that G drop S has K odd components, which we'll call G1 up to GK, and L even components, which we call H1 up to HL. And these components could be joined to the set S. Now let's take a perfect matching M. And what does it have to look like? Let's focus on the odd components. So let's take an odd component. Since every matching edge in a component joins two nodes in the component, we must have a node in the component that is joined to a node in S. And that shows that K cannot be more than the cardinality of S. Otherwise, some odd component will not be joined to a node in S. And so we have an M exposed node, contradicting that M is a perfect matching. So that proves this direction. But actually, a little more can be said. So this time, I'm just going to pick a matching M that is not necessarily perfect. And this time, we assume that K is at least the cardinality of S. Now, as before, the number of matching edges that join an odd component to a node in S cannot exceed the cardinality of S. And for each component that is not joined by a matching edge to a node in S, there will be at least one M exposed node. And so there are going to be at least K minus the cardinality of S M exposed node. So this is the minimum number of M exposed nodes. And so the number of edges in M cannot exceed the number of nodes in the graph minus this quantity, K minus cardinality of S, divided by 2. If we now look at this inequality, the best possible upper bound on M can be obtained when the right-hand side is at a minimum. And so, we can conclude that the maximum cardinality of a matching in G is at most the minimum of this. It turns out that this inequality is actually equality, and that's the content of tut batch formula. So we're going to give a sketch of the proof of this formula. We have already seen that the left-hand side is at most the right-hand side. So what we'll do is, we'll obtain a matching with cardinality exactly this. Now first, we can rewrite this as 1 half times the number of nodes minus the maximum of the number of odd components in G drop S minus the cardinality of S over all subset of nodes S. And we'll let D denote this maximum. Now, if D is 0, then by Tut's theorem, there is a perfect matching. And the number of edges in such a matching is the number of nodes divided by 2. So this case is taken care of. So we assume that D is positive. And we're going to construct a new graph G prime. Starting with G, with D additional nodes, each of which is joined to every node in G. And there's no edge joining two nodes in this set here. So the claim is that for every subset of nodes A of this graph G prime, the number of odd components of G prime drop A 
is at most the cardinality of A. And once this claim is established, we can apply Tut's theorem and conclude that G prime has a perfect matching. And we call it N. Now notice that the edges in N must join one of these new nodes to a node in G. So if we let M denote the set of edges in N that are restricted to edges in G, then M will be a matching in G and there will be exactly DM exposed nodes. And that means the cardinality of M is exactly the number of nodes in the graph G minus D all divided by two. And that's exactly what we needed to show. So what remains is to prove this claim. And the details for that are left as an exercise.